Hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, today we want to discuss uh, how to use uh, the wave uh, principle to forecast bullish reversal. How to use uh, the wave principle to forecast bullish reversal. All right, I'm on a monthly chart of the British pound, the Japanese yen. And uh, we want to use the wave principle to forecast a bullish uh, reversal. All right. So before we continue, I need to clarify a few things so we may all come to a clear understanding. The first thing that I want to say to traders when we talk about uh, earlier wave forecast, the first thing that should come into our mind is about expectation. We are expecting, okay, a certain price structure, we are expecting a specific price structure, but we don't want to go ahead of the price. However, it is always uh, okay, an advantage to, to have a bit of idea what the financial instrument will do. But if the financial instrument is not doing or is not exhibiting the pattern that we are expecting, we will not force it. It's very important because when it comes to the subject of market prediction, market forecast, a lot of our market participants get a little bit excited, especially those who are very new to the subject of the wave principle. There are a lot of investors out there looking to make some money in the stock market, in the financial market. And once they discover the wave principle, they think that this is the magic one that allows them, okay, to cream the market consistently, all right? So it is one thing to know about the earlier wave principle. There are traders out there that know everything about the earlier wave uh, theory. But when it comes to how to apply, okay, the wave principle in the financial market, to make a profitable decision, only few are capable of doing that. All right. So I don't want traders to 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 to, to think that uh, okay the area we forecast is an exact science. Uh, I need to say this hundred times in every video. So traders that are watching our video for the first time do not get into that trap. All right. Very very important. All right. So. There is an earlier way rule that stated that uh, if, uh, for instance, we have, uh, if a price went down, okay, and uh, form a low, that is a simple low, or a bottom, or a true, as some traders like to call it, all right, I prefer to call it a bottom, price change direction, so there was a, a move down for some time, and the price change direction, there is always, okay, what we call alternance. Alternance, um, is my pronunciation correct? A L T E R N A N C E. Alternance. Alternance. Is that correct? Okay, let's move on. All right. This to make you laugh a bit, okay? So if a price is going down and uh, form, okay, a bottom, all right, and the price, uh, okay, at one point again, all right, so it goes down first time, so it went down first time here, and form a bottom here, okay, a simple bottom, so which means the price goes down straight line like this, and just hit that level, and change it energy. This is a bottom, okay, pay attention, all right, if you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section. If at one point, the financial instrument is coming back to retest, to form another bottom at the same price level, this is the price level that we are talking about, all right? There will be alternance of bottoms. Now, what do I mean? It means that if the first bottom is a simple bottom, which means the price touches like this and changes direction, if the price is going down again to the same level and it's about to form another bottom, the second bottom will be different from the first bottom, which means the second bottom will be a complex bottom. The prime may touch, may, may form like a, a double bottom, or a triple bottom, or a kind of a complex bottom that is not simple like the first one. If the price for a third time return back to the same level, 
So first time we have a simple bottom here, now the prior return back to the same level from a complex bottom. If it's going to touch it again, there will be what we call alternance of bottom. So because the first one was simple, the, the second one will be complex. And if the second one is complex, we will not have again a complex bottom here. We'll have again a simple bottom, which means the prior will touch it and then just go up. Am I making myself clear? All right, if it's not very clear to you, all right, feel free to put it in the comment section and I will come back to it, all right? So if this one is a simple bottom, so this one is a complex bottom, which means it's not a straight bottom like this, all right? Now we see that if the prior return back to the same level, there is a high chance that the second bottom will be a complex bottom. Because the second bottom is, if, this, if the bottom is complex, uh, now we have a complex bottom here, yes or no, okay? The prior at one point again return back to the same level, which bottom are we going to have? It will not be complex anymore. It will become a simple bottom and so on. So what will be the, 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 the type of bottom that we will have if you retest it now? After the simple bottom, we will have again all turnouts from a simple toward a complex okay, bottom. There is alternance of bottom, alternance of low, alternance of a reversal pattern. If the first reversal pattern at the same key level is a complex bottom, the, the, the next okay, reversal pattern at the same key level will be a simple bottom. So from the si simple bottom to a complex bottom, from a complex bottom, to a simple bottom, from the simple bottom to the complex bottom, and so on. So there is alternance of uh, bottoms at the same key level. You need to understand that it must be at the same key level. Have I make sense to you? So it's, is it essential, the question is that, is it, is it essential for market participants to, to, to have a bit of idea what a financial instrument will do at a specific price level? Yes, this will help you to focus the market, have a bit of idea what is likely to take place. But you don't want to rush and think that it will be exactly that. You will be surprised, my friend. Welcome to 24 Elliot Wave, when we are Talking about practical area wave trading, all right, you will be surprised that sometime you may not see the alternance, which means you may see a simple bottom and another simple bottom. You will be surprised. There are sometimes exceptions where the market will do something completely different from what we are expecting. But according to the area wave principle, there will be alternance of bottoms. So when we see a simple bottom like this, as an earlier way practitioner, we will focus that as we see the price coming back down to the same level, the first thing that is coming to our mind, our expectation is that we will see a complex bottom. But the mistake that we do not want to make is that we don't go ahead. The best approach is to wait. So, for instance, you are expecting, a, you see a simple bottom here. As the price going down to the same level, you will expect what? A complex bottom, yes or no? So, the best approach is to wait. Now that you see a complex bottom, you know that here it is. This is my expectation. I can take advantage of it now. Are you getting the message now? Okay, so the old way of using the area way, that's not what we want trader to do. We want trader to be a little bit defensive, all right? Be protective. I can assure you that there is a lot of money has been wasted when an area way practitioner was very arrogant, very proud, very confident, and is giving a forecast, telling investors that definitely this is what's going to happen. And it didn't happen. All right, it didn't happen, and an investor lose money, and maybe an investment bank okay will lose big money. So the best approach, you know something, you are expecting it. Now wait for it to happen first, and then take advantage of it. Are you getting it? So here we are. So if you form a complex bottom, and the price went up for some time, and then it's now returning back to the same level, what will be our expectation? We will expect it as soon as it touches here, it will run away. <coughs> all right <coughs> all 
apology to that to traders or just clearing my voice okay so here it is we will expect it to just touch it and go now that it touches here and run away as we expect in it all right we can take advantage of it all right we can take advantage of that okay yes or no all right so if you run away now it's coming back to the same level we will now forecast and tell traders there is a high chance we may see a double bottom a triple bottom or a complex bottom as the price is approaching this level isn't it good to know this thing we can see this on the hourly time frame or the 30 minute time frame you will see it on a five minute time frame on a 30 minute time frame when a financial instrument run away and then it's coming back down forming another bottom you will draw that's why you may see the same bottom all right you see like a simple bottom here now it's touching it you know that there's a high time it may form a complex bottom all right will you promise me that you will not go ahead before the price now you do not have to promise me anything this is to make you okay understand clearly to know clearly that you, i want to get your attention that you understand what we are discussing here that you will not rush all right though you have an edge though you know something before it is happening you wait for it to take place and then you want to take advantage of it without rushing and uh, sometimes what usually take place an earlier way trader is forecast in the market and then he or she will jump first and then will lose and then the price before the price will settle all right so you may say to me george now show me some clear-cut example it's right here on the monthly chart of uh, the japanese yen okay uh, the british pound japanese yen okay and i will show you now about what i want you to do because if this is the first time that you you come across uh, something like this and you find it very interesting all right i want you to take to pause all right use a demo account all right don't go live straight away practice practice okay you will face different variation you will see some exception you will say oh george i saw a, a simple button now i see again a simple button so that's an exception okay all right because the reality of the market is different. So you will notice, you will monitor it in clearly. Or you may go around now, look at different chart, and look what's happening. So here, on this monthly chart, you can see that the, the Japan, the British pound, Japanese, year yeah, went down, yes or no? It went up, boom, 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 boom. Which bottom is this? It's a simple bottom, yes or no? So it touched this level, which level? Let's call it now into red, so everybody can see it. Can you see that level? 11916. All right, that's the level. So it touches here, form a simple bottom. According to the wave principle, there is alternance of bottoms. Or reverse bullish reversal pattern. So this is a simple re bullish reversal pattern. We touch it and just going up for minimum. One, two, three, four, five, six months. That's a half a year it went up. All right very simple bottom yes now here it is it come to the same level yes or no so what will be your expectation when it's coming back to the same level one one nine one six so we will be thinking that it's going to be a complex bottom is it a complex bottom here so there is alternance a simple bottom here it is a complex bottom now i can i can i can go into your mind you are getting a bit excited now yes or no but don't rush all right so what usually take place when we learn something all right nine out of ten all right nine out of ten the first time you will try it you will try it it will be successful all right very often very often very often sometimes unless you are unlucky you may see that it didn't work so the first time you try it, it works and then you say wow this is powerful and then you rush and start making mistakes. But if you, but another thing that usually takes place, another trader may try it for the first time, and it may not work. And straight away, some trader will dump it straight away and say, it doesn't work. No, don't do that. When something, okay, does not work for the first time, okay, hold on a second, ask yourself why it did not work this time. And then keep watching it, all right? That's how you're going to master the subject and become an expert on it. You'll be able to identify, okay, uh, the exception. You'll be able to, to, to identify, okay, the variation, all right? A variation, 
is that English accent or French accent? Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, so now we see this is a, a, a simple bottom that is formed here. So as the price coming to the same level, you see touchy here, people will think that that's the end of it. No, there's a high chance it will be multiple bottom. Here we have one, two, three. Now it's settled. You see one, two, three. You see the third time you say, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll get a message. Draw your trend line. And then use a top-down trading method to trade it. There's a small triangle here. And then just, and then from here, check the economy news, all right? Apply the trading ring. Look for a setup, okay? Validate the setup on a higher time frame. Implement a top-down trading method. And do not violate the trading triangle, the market first, the sector before the individual financial instrument, the heart of the trading triangle, the economy news, all right? The economy news can change the dynamics of uh, technical analysis. The economy news can change the dynamics of area wave forecast. All right, <laughs> all right. Don't be like me. All right. When I started trading first, I didn't care about economy news, and uh, all right, I was losing a, a lot of money, and I don't want you to go through the same thing. All right. Don't learn it the hard way. You you, you want to okay start on the right okay. Uh, fit all right straight away so here it is okay so this is a alternance of a simple bottom to a complex bottom so what's going what, what do we expect now so this is the japanese the british pound japanese yen if it comes down to this level what will be our expectation i leave that one to you we will expect it to bounce up that will be our expectation does it mean that the prior will do exactly that no the price can break to that level 11916. So if the price reaches this level, our expectation that is going to bounce up straight away because we have a complex bottom here and there will be alternance of bottom here, alternance of a re bullish a reversal pattern here. We are expecting something if we touch it here. So all we can do we say, all right, I don't want to, to miss this one. Priority to bullish signal, a bull. 11916 priority to bearish signal below always be ready to sell and be ready to buy always okay so now is it that if it touches this level then you go okay all right multiple time frame and then you or maybe you go to the yearly chart to see the bigger picture what's going on in the yearly chart here we are you see the yearly chart also is forming look on the yearly chart which bottom do you have here it's a double bottom this this low here Okay, you see, the tail of this candle is a low, and another low. So it's a complex bottom on the yearly chart. We will expect, okay, a simple bottom here. Will it reach this level? That remains to be seen. The price can change direction before reaching that level. But in the old days, people will say, oh, definitely, it will, it will hit that level of 11916. No, we do not teach that to traders because... A lot of traders know about area wave, but they become so careless and they are not defensive. So if you think it's going to change direction here, now, okay, use a top-down trading method. So from the monthly chart, we time frame you go, daily chart, is there a signal? The price is still below this bearish trend line here. All right, just take it one step at a time. There's a triangle here, that's what I was talking about before. See, so we went below the triangle. All right, so take it one step at a time. When you are applying the area wave, do not ignore the key level. Remember the video that we posted recently, how to improve uh, your area wave. What is the title of that video again? All right, very beautiful, excellent video that I posted. And I see a lot of interaction from two, four area wave traders, which is good. All right, all right. Simple method, that's the title of the video, simple method to improve area wave day or swing trading. Check it out, all right? Simple method, all right? So, this is what we are talking about, the alternance of bottoms, all right? This is about, okay, how to use the area wave principle to forecast bullish reversal. Alternance of bottoms, alternance of reversal pattern, a simple reversal, if the prior return to the same level, there's a high chance you may see a complex bullish reversal. Because this was a complex uh, bullish reversal that we have here, we are likely to see a simple bullish reversal here.
All right. As always, you learn it. All right. Test it. Work on it and master it before going live. You see this even on a, a two hour time frame. All right. On a four hour time frame. And the bottom, even the same rules. I need to mention this before I close, I close this video uh, because it's so important. Uh, I will not talk about it. I will talk about uh, okay how we forecast okay bearish reversal. That will be another video, uh, so I can uh, go a little bit deeper on that subject. Okay. If you have any question or suggestion, my friend, do not hesitate to put in a comment section. I read all the comments and I'm busy recording video to answer specific questions. Today I have been asking me about uh, area wave forecast, area wave pattern, and each video is to answer questions that traders are asking in the comment section. The thing they are talking about, all right, uh, do not hesitate to put in a comment section if you want us to talk about it somewhere in the future, all right, as a subscriber, I will be busy okay recording video to clarify everything to you all right we are the g s t w s y s zero zero eight traders talking about how to use the area wave principle uh, to focus a bullish reversal happy trading to you all and speak to you soon